Hello and welcome back to the sideboard here at Star City Games Salt Lake City. We have the winner of the first standard open on this double standard weekend, Jacob Toby. Jacob, or Toby actually as you prefer yeah. to be called. Go by Toby. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Ruben. Uh, we also have another person to thank. That would be this man right here. We have our, our spirit animal, Brian Kibler. As we were discussing, you were playing... Uh, I think you were playing his exact 75 for the most recent. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Pretty close, especially even with the one of Guildgate over the Keswick Wolf run. I'm pretty sure he's been talking about that as well, yeah. Right, and so uh, and you, you were saying that why try to break the format when one of the best in the world has already done it for you? Yeah, I'm not an innovator. Sure. I just jam dragons. There you go. And jamming dragons proved to be a very powerful strategy. You put four copies of that deck into the top eight, uh, and you were able to manage to, to come out on top. Um, why do you think that that deck was so powerful so able to take advantage of yesterday's metagame? What was different about yesterday? Um, I feel like everyone's, a lot of people were still on Jund. I think I played it three times, and Burning Earth is really good, as is Thunder My Hellkite and Zealous Conscripts. Sure. And uh, uh, Brian Kibler designed that deck to win in a format primarily uh, with two decks in it, uh, with Jund and Blue-White Red Flash. Did you ever face any Blue-White Red Flash or um, any of the Blue-White Flash-ish decks yesterday? I played Blue-White Flash and Esper yesterday. Okay, and, and you, you were yeah. good against both of those Both of well. them felt really easy. Is I played a Burning Earth and then won from there. Sure. And so, but Burning Earth's in the sideboard still. Yeah. Uh, not, not quite main deckable material yet as the popularity of the green-red aggro deck picks up yeah. and things in mono-red and mono-color decks are also out there. I want to talk briefly about your third game um, in the finals where you were on the draw and being in the mirror match on the draw, the, play, the, the player on the play wins that 75-80% of the time. Further complicating things was you mulliganed, and he kept his opening seven, you, but you were still able to break serve in that last game. Why were you able to be successful in the final game? It was the mana dorks. Is I was able to play more spells with my mana dorks than he was. Sure. Is he had to cast his spells with lands, where I had five mana on turn three to play a gore clan and then fight with Domri. Excellent. Yeah, and Domri Raid, obviously, very powerful in the uh, in the mirror match as well, being able to pick off Hell Riders with your Gore Clan Rampagers, pick off uh, uh, Strangle Root Geists with your Hell Riders, or, or with your Hell Riders, or yeah. the front half of yeah. things like that. Um, yeah, very powerful deck. So, uh, would you change anything about the deck? If you were to play in a tournament today, which, surprise, surprise, you get to. If you um, want nope, to. I'm going to play the yeah. same 75. Same 75. Okay, well, there you have it. It's a very powerful list. Uh, Thank you to Toby, Jacob Toby, uh, from, you're from Denver, Colorado? Denver, Colorado. Made the drive all the way out here to Salt Lake City, and, uh, and we're going to toss it right back to the booth, and we'll see you for the next tournament, starting with coverage in round three. I'm Ruben Bressler here from the sideboard.